And it's sort of funny. I just had the most cool interaction right after I, I prayed to God or I voiced my affirmation to God. I mean, praying is just an affirmation. It can be a guessing affirmation. It could be a uh, would you please affirmation. It would be an unsure affirmation. But when you say, hey, God, I'm asking you right now. But when you say asking you, I don't mean right, right now. I mean, in, in this moment. I'm like I'm saying, God, I'm asking you, please. And I believe that you can do this for me. Help me be the best person I can be and only be human and for when I'm around other people until I get the option or the, the chance to open up the way that I need to about you. And then I went up to a counter at the country fair that I was actually talking to my phone in where every person was looking at me like I was crazy because I was talking to my phone about God and Jesus. They probably thought I was on the phone with somebody, but I wasn't. I, but I was. I was on the phone with me in this phone and every ear that hears it, I'm, I'm talking to at this moment in time. Just it happens later. This is how everything happens. This is how a thought happens, then it shows up later. I'm recording this now, and you're going to hear it later. Does that make sense? That's a good idea of how physical things are the result of mental thoughts. Mental thoughts, with the proper effort, show up later. Uh, the physical version of this is me talking into this phone. The vibrational version is the sound of my voice. The astral version is the space and time that we place as human beings between now and the time that you get to listen to this. There's the spiritual whatever is all the elements that it made to take this phone and all the elements that it takes to make me mixed together. And then you take all those vibrational codes and add them into one big song, like a vibrational, you know, bouquet. And that's what becomes this this recording and then you listen to it later and it opens up the bouquet all over again because it's stimulated by the brain you have that hears it and it starts all over again and then the confusion starts until you start tuning in and trying to really understand but people have you know in 2018 years since Christ you know they've had at least one good thing to think it was Christ and other people were like well that couldn't be it because deep down inside of all those people that said that can't be it they they know that there's more than that because they want to know where Christ came from and where the God that created Christ came from you know I know where it came from but it explains it as the something that is nothing and the nothing that is something. The invisible. Like when it's dark in a room, it's pitch dark in a room. But there's all those weird gases going on. So maybe, and I don't even want to say this out loud, but I have to accept it. Because God himself has accepted that since he is nothing that came from something, uh, no one that came from someone, uh, no thing that came from something... Since he knows that himself, God knows that he is a, the nothing from something. And since he knows that, he even accepts that there's something more powerful than him. Now, how crazy is that? God told me that he knows that there's one thing out there more powerful than him. And he thinks that without words, love started existence. Because love wanted to be experienced. So when people say God is love, it's because love is stronger than God, guys. Any idea of the word God you have, love is stronger than that. An example, you're a Christian and you want to marry somebody who's a devil worshiper, quote unquote. It's okay to do that because love, if you fall in love, it's stronger than God. Your religional version of God is nowhere near as strong as real love. And human love that's real between two people, my God, does it seem amazing. But imagine if you tapped into a universal love where you had that relationship with the person you're in love with, with every single person. And not only every single person, every single speck of dust. You're in love with it because you know you made it and you can explain it to yourself in your mind anytime you blink your eyes for one second. You can see it all and you, you can see it all anytime you want to, all the time, in its entirety, but you have to zoom in on it to take the time in our physical earth plane to explain it in English words. When you tune into the vibration, it just knows it. Just like when you get a new phone and they put your contact information over to it, boop, that's how it happens. 
God updates himself into your phone, which is your mind. Say, my mind is a phone. When you tune into the vibration of God, it's like updating and boop. It gives you the extreme update. I just happen to be the only person who's had the God update, if that's what you want to call it, the God update. I'm not trying to make it sound funny, but I'm trying to relate it to you in words we all understand. I love you. And if you want the God update, you got to start with the self-motivation update, and I'll give you that soon, as soon as I get some people understanding that I know what I'm talking about.